Mati. This is, oh, did you want to introduce yourself to me? <laughs> I can introduce myself. I'm Ange. I'm Sporty. I'm Ange. Welcome to Mostly Mindful, where we encourage you to buy less, do more, and live simply and sustainably in the city. Okay, well, today uh, we are going to take you on apartment tour number two. It's super exciting. So after I don't know how many years we decided to get back into the property market, we bought ourselves an apartment, um, they finished building it and we moved in on the 29th of April. Yeah, so we've been here for three weeks. Um, obviously because it's a new apartment it's completely empty and we didn't own anything. So when we moved in here we had only the things that you saw in our previous apartment tour, like the, the yoga chairs, um, our little desk and whatever, but not the table and chairs and not the futon or anything. Um, so it's, it's a bit of fire, I think, going straight into furniture free living. Well, I mean, just one step more. I mean, we've, we've pretty much did furniture free in the other place, okay. other than the table and chairs. That well, shouldn't be that dramatic. <laughs> It was a nice touch though. It was a nice touch. It was a little bit dramatic for me because you were on the floor the whole time and I took to being lazy and sitting at the table and chair and doing my work there. So the entire time I was sitting like sort of at a regular desk on a, on a chair and I was a bit nervous but I took to it quite well when we got here. Mm. Yeah, you did very well. So um, we, when, we, when we made the decision to buy the flat, um, there were some choices in terms of which flats uh, were in the complex. Um, and uh, one of the choices were, was whether to buy um, on the ground floor with a garden or further up. Um, and eventually the original idea was to buy with a garden because um, I, you know, I like um, gardening. But then after many discussions we decided actually we need to be as high up as possible because there's no um, lifts here and that means we walk up and down three flights of stairs every day. Um, and that said, we actually managed to move our everything that we had, washing machine um, and pretty some pretty heavy boxes ourselves up just the two of us up those three flights of stairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, no worries at all. And without requiring any anti-inflammatories afterwards either. We were actually yeah, still true. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't, we, we didn't like collapse in a heap and go, oh my God, I've just pulled my back out or something. Yeah, we, were no, we were totally were, fine. We were fine. Um, we also uh, managed to move in two car loads. Yes. Without a moving company. Um, that, that, that was actually due to the fact that we donated the futon. Um, if we had the futon, we would have needed um, a, a guy with a truck or something, or a gal with a truck, depending. Yeah, but we donated the futon. We spoke about that purchase fail in a separate video. Um, but it ended up being a, a good thing because we donated it to uh, one of our favorite charities called U-Turn, who, who supports uh, homeless people. So at least it went it ended up doing doing yes, some good, good even good though work. it gave you a bad back for I don't know how long. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we so hope you enjoy the tour and, and let us know if you have any um, input in improving our furniture free living or our moving space and if you're doing it let us know. We'd love to hear and see some of your efforts as well. Yeah. And other than that, Subscribe. Are we doing it here? No, subscribe. Just don't tell them we're we doing it. Notify. Not <laughs> what? <laughs> Notifications <laughs> bell. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> What's the other thing? Oh, stop it. There's three. You make it hard for me when I edit. <laughs> anyway, okay, please so subscribe because it puts us in front of more like minded people just like you, and we really appreciate that. We do. A lot. Okay guys, mm -hmm. that's all. Thanks, Thanks for bye. watching from Gordon Bay. Bye.
So it's part two of our Furniture Free Living series because in the previous video we showed you um, our cottage still had a little bit of furniture which made it easier for us but then we bought this apartment and it had absolutely nothing in it. So we're going to show you how we've been living. We've been here for three weeks now and this is how we intend to live apart from making it look nicer obviously. So it was kind of a birth of fire because um, at the previous place we still had a table and chairs which made it easier to sit at, um, especially for working and stuff. But here we are literally on the floor. We've got our two yoga mats, we've got our cushions, we've got desks and our yoga chairs. Okay, so these, these are basically our lounge chairs. It's our version of a lazy boy. We'll sit over here and enjoy the view and sometimes we'll eat breakfast, other times we'll enjoy a glass of wine and I guess it doesn't look very comfortable but we're enjoying it. Um, we have some plans going forward which, is, which have been inspired by Katie Bowman. Um, She's a furniture free living advocate and, and some of her material has inspired us um, to do this. Uh, our plans are sort of a little bit out there. The one thing is possibly putting in a monkey bars across the top so that we can um, practice grip strength and get our shoulders strong. Um, the other things were, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna obviously put a, a gym mat in here. That's actually underway. It's, they're on, the, the, the gym mats are on the way. So th this whole area will be a, a gym mat so we can um, move around very easily in terms of, you know, kneeling or, or um, rolling around if we want to or whatever. Um, and then the, the other thing that we've been looking into, which um, both of us are quite excited about, are um, wall desks. So we saw um, online there's a couple of interesting um, options where it's basically, it's about this big and um, it, has, it closes and the, the flap becomes your desk. And then um, Andrew was talking about um, having a, a Pilates ball to sit at on the desk. So, and, and the reason why we like that idea is um, because then we don't have to have our um, tech stuff lying around. Then we can just leave it in that little wall desk thing and close it. And then it will be neat and tidy, which we like. I'm sorry if there's any traffic noises, uh, there's a road just there, so occasionally a, a big motorbike or something will, will come past. So the, the idea here is to um, grow plants and have a nice little place to sit and I, I would like to put a little barbecue in, but uh, that's still under discussion. Um, so the, originally our idea was to plant veggies um, and flowers for bees and birds. But the, the issue here is that we don't get sunlight, a direct sunlight. So um, we're looking into plants um, that, that will survive in the shade and there seem to be quite a few, so that's also underway. While we're out here, I wanted to show you quickly our part of our waste management system. We compost our kitchen waste. Um, so we've got two buckets that we rotate. When one gets full, you have to leave it for two weeks before taking it to the garden. And then the second one we're busy filling at the moment. So this is the bucket that we're using at the moment. The sawdusty stuff that you saw in there is actually bakashi. Which just looks like that. And it helps ferment um, the food and, and break down quicker. So that's one part of our four-part waste management system, but that's just, just showing you because we're out here. Okay, so I'll take you on a quick mini tour of our kitchen. One of the things that we pointed out in our previous furniture-free um, video, and that we also learned from Katie Bowman, is to put the things that you use a lot down below because it, it gets you to squat and this is really cool 
because it actually does make you squat. As you can see, our glasses are very conveniently placed all the way back there and our mugs and everything else. So, um, and the spices are over here. So it gets you down here a lot. And what's interesting is since we've been here, which is just three weeks now, my squatting has already improved. I've noticed I can squat, not a problem. But before in our old cottage, um, I couldn't squat early in the morning. It would, like, I would struggle to get down there. But now it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. It's quite easy for me to go down like this, find what I need, and get back up. So we're already experiencing the benefits. Um, because this is also promoting a minimalist lifestyle and not just furniture free, I want to do, um, point out how great it is when you don't have a lot of stuff because it's, it's much easier to keep things neat and tidy um, and obviously when things are neat and tidy then you can find them it's not a big stress or whatever so you'll see we're like bordering on i don't know ocd <laughs> no it's just it's nice to be like you know have everything neat have a place for everything I think Joshua Becker of Becoming Minimalist is a big fan of that. Everything must have its own home. So um, we normally, this is actually supposed to be for a microwave, I think. But it's something we don't um, use. use. So we store in our appliances in there. Oh, this is really cool. So we, we were struggling with where to put our tech because there's not a huge amount of storage space even if you are minimalist and we found this box at a home store but then we found these dividers which are really cool so um, it just makes storing tech so much so much neater like this so I'll you buy them in long strips you actually only get two two of these like very long strips and then you cut them out and then they slot into each other here with these slots Super clever, very clever. And then also, we also found these plastic drawers because, um, like I said, we don't have a huge amount of storage space, but we didn't have money for fancy storage, so we just got these, and they they work just as well, I think. Um, yesterday, uh, I spent the morning decluttering in preparation for our shoot because. Um, what Sporty and I realized when we moved, and here we come clean, <laughs> is that we are minimalists, but it's very easy to get to a point where you've cluttered stuff unintentionally. And we broke our own three-month rule. We have a three-month rule where we say we go through the house and if you haven't used it or whatever, it has to go. And we didn't do that for more than six months. And as a result, a uh, couple of our kitchen drawers and a couple of our, our admin drawers had just a whole pile of stuff that, that needed to go. So just coming clean about that. Okay, so I'm going to take you through our bedroom. So um, over here you'll see our bed. Uh, this is, we've obviously um, shown you this. Have we shown them the camping bed before? No. No, okay, so in the last uh, Furniture Free video, you would have seen our, our futon bed, um, which was a, a bit of a purchase fail and we've since um, gotten rid of it. So the camping um, mattress is there too. It's, it's one of the things that we, that we try and um, use for a number of things. So these obviously are, are camping mattresses that we can camp with um, and then they're a bed as well. Um, just before I move on from that, I just wanted to show you also, again, with the squats and getting stronger. Um, while we had the futon, um, I could squat nicely and get out of bed, um, you know, not using my hands and all of that. But it, it wasn't, because it was quite a bit higher, it wasn't as um, efficient in, in strengthening the hips and whatever. So now, 
I can basically again, without using my hands, you've seen this before in one of our videos, I can just like that and then getting up also, I did use my hands but pretty decent um, getting up thing. Another item that we use for more than one thing is this, this little um, kids chair that we bought. Um, so when we bought it, we basically needed something to, to stand on so we could put stuff on top of cupboards and whatever. Um, and now we're using it as a bedside table and I will probably use it as a gardening stool until we can afford something sort of more pretty. But in the meantime, it was very cheap. Um, it's very functional and, you know, we'll donate it to a crèche or something when we're done with it. So these are our clothing cupboard. Um, one idea that we had here, you can see we, we don't have a huge amount of stuff, but it would still be helpful if we had um, shelf dividers. So we're currently looking for, I think you can just get like shelves that just split the the thing in half and then you can put some stuff on top and some stuff underneath. And then this is our, our hanging cupboard. Um, we've got our zero waste uh, container box over here. You will have seen that in our other videos as well. And then um, this is the, the stationary um, drawer thing that Ange mentioned. So these, this is um, a pile that's come from the decluttering um, effort of Ange's yesterday. And then um, these, these are sort of our stationary paper document stuff that you can't get rid of drawers. So that's to be decluttered. Those, those are this, going to the library. All yeah, those, those are being donated. How do you feel about getting rid of your National Geographic sporty? Well, that seems to be one of the things that I really struggle with, <laughs> even though I've read them and I've had them for years. And it can, it's, it's only National Geographics that I have that issue with, and I, I'm not entirely sure why. So those ones I've read, and I still love them, but we, we do have to get rid of them now. Is it going to be hard? <laughs> <laughs> we have to. I'm a minimalist. I can do this. <laughs> um, so we had an issue with trying to figure out how to um, store our bags and we found this super interesting thing it, it just like hooks on the door and then you can we hang our keys and our masks and our bags so we all sorted on that side this is basically it's our little gym area we've got a rebounder we've got some weights some hand grips um, and this rebounder which we're gonna we still need to make a video for is such a great way to get in exercise when you have not a lot of time or um, you want to do exercise movement breaks during the day and you're not wanting to go out. So much fun. Really helps for cohorts. As you'll see, mine's not great yet, but it has improved. Um, a lot. A lot. It has improved a lot, right? Mm. But I did want to show you that we've since we've grown up a little bit because we never used to have one of these um, cutlery drawer thingies and it's actually working really well. I'm very pleased with it. Sporty was reticent. She didn't want to get it. When we were at the shops buying it, she, she was quite reluctant, but I'm really glad that I persuaded her. Because it, it works well, don't you think, Sporty? Yes, it works very well. I, I'm, I'm totally um, won over. And that's that. I think that's it.
moved to Mosque Mindful when we try and sit taller than each other because we are five and seven. Um, so subscribe for notification bell was the third thing. There's three things. Kiani was the three. It's Sunday, I can't remember. Okay, well well Andrew will put all the um, the icons on I think on this side and here by me. I'll move over so there's space for the icons. <laughs>